Okie cokey on the next one of you now. It's me, myself, and the Davester. <laughs> what did he call you? Dave to Drain. Dave to Drain, that's the one. Yeah. Dave to Drain. And look what Dave to Drain's been up to. He's messing about, he's making loads of mess. Okay. It looks absolutely good, this already, doesn't it? It does. It's so there you go. It, normally it's a sign. Tell tell sign. You're giving it a little bit of a plunge first, or just no. go with it? Go straight in, Dave. Okay. Low the pressure, nozzle in, give it a good old whack. Yeah, it needs a good whack here. We've had a few problems, more than likely, whenever the top part of the interceptor seems to be crumbling like this does. Nine times out of ten, if you get the blockages, it's going to happen further down. I'm going to trust Dave's jet in here. I was uh, whistling then, I'm I know, sure. it's, it's very, very uh, therapeutic, isn't it, Dave? Yeah. It's a deep one. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, stand back. Go on, Al. What's that big piece there, Dave? Uh, yeah. He wants to go with this pimple yeah. now. I'm curious as to why. You can feel something rough at the bottom. Watch this, it'll go now. Right. Can't find where it is now, Dave. There you go. sort of came past it like you say when it goes past it wants the, it to go past didn't it
that one. Like it wants to go. Yeah, it's just because once it's dropping, it's getting stuck again, and it each time. Simply the oh, best. Man. Well, this is temporary, I take it, because there's definitely issues, isn't it? Oh, yeah, this is going to block. As soon as we start pouring all this back here, it's probably going to block again anyway. Yeah. Get right in there, Dave. Get right in there. Where the action is. Yeah, my hose is completely snagging here. Yeah. yeah. Get right down, Dave. That's it. from the outhouse house that which that out less yeah the base is completely gone there's your water going anyway now yeah. right it's just there uh, go and get the brush in that day right okay. mate yeah i'll just turn that off now it's just the age of it does it you just remove it yeah. Rather than have that old swan there. Yeah. So basically what you're doing is you dig down here, do a metre square around it, dig right down. Put the manhole in. No, no, you just it. you can have an access point if you wanted one, yeah. but there'll be no need to really. Yeah. You've got your sort of stack coming in here. Yeah. So what you do is, is you remove the interceptor and then from your drains you just attach a straight piece of pipe out onto the main drains. Normally it's a six Without inch one. bending it? No bending. You don't need the bending. That's just an old design. Can you do that sort of work? Yeah, we certainly can do, mate. Um, once I've cleared it all up, I'll have a little look at dates yeah. and stuff for you. Uh, get you the price and that. It's going be done in a day. This is more than, it's just the, uh, getting you a good cost for it, mate. Yeah, for the repair lads, it's half there and you do the repairs in there. Let me throw about three or four lads on and then just mash it up, dig it down. Yeah. Just shovel that in. Right mate, can you leave your thing on please? Um, that's what they need mate, I'll get some in it. Some water here bud. Yeah, 
什么？Yeah, you've got the lift. Alright, it's okay. I thought you said that you didn't have the tap on, I thought you meant no. it weren't bleeding turned on. Right, we're knackered here now. Yeah, I don't want to this water down. It's not, it's not for empty, you might just go do a clean up out there as much as we can, and we need to book a repair in for it. We're going to have to do it sooner rather than later. Right, this is needing a repair. We get it booked in, we're going to clean what we can, but we can't do too much because it isn't shifting properly. That'll do. On to the next one. Silt is quite a bad problem because you spend a lot of time cleaning the manholes out. You normally have got to have two men there to clean the manhole back out. Silt accumulation in manholes and gullies has been a constant challenge and the options to prevent this have never been very effective. Once we'd come up with the Muck Stopper 450 and started talking to customers about prototypes and looking at that problem, a lot of customers reported that they faced an even bigger problem with the larger concrete ring manholes in the road. Obviously it's a cover, but around the edge you've got, you've got a small crack and silt's very fine stuff, so it just washes down those cracks. Um, and especially if the chamber blow is not in use, then it, over time it just builds up on the bottom of the chamber. So the muck stopper then is like a secondary plate and it sits below the manhole cover and frame. So all the silt goes through the cover, around the cracks like I said, and then it just sits on top of our muck stopper plate. And then if you ever need to access the chamber at any point during the construction phase, then you lift the manhole cover like you normally would and then you would just scrape the silt off the top of our muck stopper. 